Well, hello. So I'm just going to have uh, an easy, a quick demo of what we've built so far. Okay. So let's just search for an, a stock, right? I'm going to search for Apple, for example. I just got the Apple stock right here in Yahoo Binance. So I'm just going to type Apple. We could be searching for some more, but then you can try on your own in the code we've, uh, we've just developed thus far. So I'm going to click enter here. It searches for the Apple symbol, it got it, it got the data, and now it is going to get for the fundamental data in order to build a fundamental analysis. Here, as you can see, it got all the data we need. And it says, I now finally know the final answer, and the final answer, it start to actually build the fundamental analysis. Revenue growth, return of equity, some equations here for the return of equity and the percentage of this. The dividends. So as you can see, the fundamental data was actually enough for it to start building. Okay. So it builds for all the fundamental analysis all it can get. Also, as you can see, it got already to the data or uh, the actual stock value through the market. It's almost done. Competitive position, economic indicators. Regularity environments has paid a fine to Russia overall like app payment of use indicating some regular changes. So as you can see, this is relevant and important information that it got from the fundamental analysis data. It's that's really important. Now the book value too. Latest news about Apple Vision Pro suggests strong initial demand, but also highlights potential issues, black content partnerships, which could affect its success. That's kind of a big deal. Now, based on the fundamental analysis, Apple has shown a slightly decline in revenue, but it maintains a strong in the return of investments and pays high dividends. So it is expecting to be pulled to fall down to decline a bit. Now we're going to see what the training does say about this. It is now training because it just finished the fundamental analysis. And there it is with the training. And as you can see, it has something to do with what it said. It said that the revenue was going a bit down and predictions say that it's actually going to be a bit down. So in here, we can view the training. As you can see, training is kind of a big deal. It's going, it's doing great. If we get to the validation data and we compare it against the actual prices, it's actually representative. And we're here focusing in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine previous days for it to actually make predictions on the future five days we get. And we're expecting for the Apple stock values to actually get down. Now, if we view the Apple stocks here, oh, surprise, surprise, it is actually going down. How much was it expecting? Let us see. It was expected to have in between 193 to 190. Let us have uh, an average, I would say like 90, 191.5 or so. And right now it is at 192 and going down and down. So these predictions, as you can see, are not as bad. They're actually kind of good. They're representative. Both the fundamental analysis information over here and all the technical indicators indicate that Apple stocks are actually going down. And if we compare it to the real data of what's happening here, it's actually going down. This is what's happening right now. So this is kind of a big deal, right? Even with this information, we could start make trading right now and would get a real, real good values. But this is not the case because this is a trading bot. We wanted to actually make some tradings on its own. And in order to do that, we will simply go to our... Uh, we're going, we're going to build in next modules, the reinforcement learning algorithm that it's going to be focusing on the data over here from the fundamental analysis. It, we already make the embeddings, as you know. It's going to focus on this data over here for the forecasts. And we're going to review in the reinforcement learning how to get the actual data in real time for make those decisions. I mean, the algorithm make those decisions for us in our name. So that's it. And well... See you in the next lecture in which we're going to focus on how to use this information to actually make some real-time autonomous training.